Of course it would be. So, um, Trevor, Trevor's team, he's running a Tyranitar, a Musharna, a Klefki, a Rotom W, a Talonflame, and a Breloom. That Klefki, I'm really interested to hear what you have to say about Klefki. Klefki is pretty good. Um, like, the base stats are deceptively low, but the thing is, you don't have to invest in, sp you don't have to invest in speed. You're not attacking with it. So you can dump everything in bulk. It's kind of like how Sableye is like a little bulkier than you would expect because yes. it can just go pure defense with that prankster ability. Um, so that's kind of what Klefki does, except Klefki arguably has better typing. Clef, I mean, that fairy typing is such a solid defensive typing. Yeah. Along with the steel, it just makes it even better. Um, you know, the, the fairy typing reduces the, uh, the fighting damage that, to the steel. Uh, so it'll take fighting attacks for neutral, which helps. And and it has a better move pool. Um, it, it's got it's got the screens. You know we talked about it before, uh -huh. and you know the whole thunder wave thing that Sableye does not have. Um, and uh, I think attacking wise, I believe it gets foul play. I, I think I think that yeah. that is right. It does get foul play. So that does give you an option, and like we all know what Leapard did last year. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, another prankster with foul play. Um, so Klefki's, Klefki is, at this point in the metagame, pretty solid. Um, whether it stays up there, we've yet to see, but, you know, this is a very young, raw metagame, so... Yes, this is the very first tournament, in fact. Yes, uh, the very first, like, developed tournament in probably the country. So, uh, yeah. you're seeing history in the making here, folks. Um, but we're about to get into it. Uh, time ran out, so we're going to see this match start. Andres is going to be once again on the bottom, and we're going to see Trevor on the top. Uh, this is the finals. This is for all the marbles here, or $60 worth of marbles here. Yeah, so the winner gets 60 loser gets 30 so we'll see how this turns out. Um, so Trevor goes, goes ahead and leads that Rotom Wash and Musharna, and Andres counters with his Hitmontop and Metagross, getting the Intimidate on the two special attackers there. Uh, that, this is a this is a real even matchup. I like this one. <laughs> this is a fun one because Musharna can hit hit him on top for a lot, but it can't do anything to Metagross. And Metagross can't do a ton to Rotom outside of a Zen Headbutt. Right. Um, but it can do a lot to Musharna with a Meteor Mash. But hit him on top can close combat Rotom for a fair chunk. It, so there's just so many things that it can could happen. Go any sort of direction is this is gonna this is. Definitely set up to be an exciting first turn here. Um, we could see some switches even. We just we just have no idea what's going to happen. Yeah, and we haven't even talked about Fake Out. Um, yeah, if he decides to hold one of his Pokemon still with Fake Out and like open up something with Metagross or maybe give a free switch, and we see that Fake Out we right there. See that Fake Out come out on the Musharna. The Musharna won't be able to do anything. Oh, uh, it's the, the Will O' Wisp Avoid. Um, Boy, that's tough. The Meteor Mash comes out onto the Musharna. Wow. Musharna takes it pretty well. Uh, okay, there's there's got to be something about this Metagross because Cresselia doesn't take that Meteor Mash that well. Mm -hmm. Lower HP, though. Same HP, same defense. Really? I have it. Yeah. But so. it, it just takes things really, really well. So less, less than half damage, probably around a third damage from that Meteor Mash. And um, that, was, that, that was, uh, the burn didn't hurt, didn't, didn't hit, so it was a full full attack there. We're going to see the Rotom use Hydro Pump on the, the Metagross. Uh, it's not going to be able to knock it out, but it does a little bit more than half. Uh, Hit on top uses Close Combat into the Rotom there. Not going to be able to do enough to knock it out, but it does a decent chunk of damage. But its defenses are low. Oh, White Herb! There's the new, there's the new stuff to make up for that uh, lack of fighting gem. Oh, that was oh we critical. A critical hit there. We we're talking about how Musharna was able to, to take more than one meteor mash, but it can if it uh, if a critical hit happens. Right, right. Even with that uh, that critical hit nerf, it's that one and a half. Is still yeah, but you know that Talonflame's in there now, and Talonflame can threaten both these Pokemon. Uh, my, my guess is it could probably pick up a KO right now with Flare Blitz, um, and if it works together with Hitmontop, it could also pick, I mean, work together with Rotom, it can probably pick up Hitmontop. Mm -hmm. So, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't discount Trevor at all. No, Trevor's not yeah. not in a bad situation. You hate to hate to lose a Pokemon so quickly, but, um, I mean, certainly 
not the end of the world for Trevor there. Right, right. So, so we'll have to see him on top is dancing up a storm there on the side, mm -hmm. uh, pulling pulling a Carlton. It's not unusual for uh, him on top to be dancing like that. Yes. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see. That hip, that white herb was unusual though. And Andre switches out. It's gonna be able to come back in and use that the intimidate again. Um, with the town flame out there, I could see why he would want to do that. It goes for the brave bird uh, on into that. the Musharna that just switched in. Took a lot. Took a lot, but less than half still. Interesting. Metagross is using the uh, punch resisted. Barely did anything to that roll. He's gonna take a hydro pump for his troubles there. And, and that, he, oh, one HP. Lives with one HP. That. <laughs> That's got to be a damage roll. Uh, yeah. Unlucky there for Trevor. At the same time, there's not a lot Metagross can do in this situation because we saw what Bullet Punch just did, and you know it was like nothing. It did next to nothing. So, um, you know, it frees up Andres to possibly switch out Metagross for later. But with one HP left, I, I don't see really what it's going to be able to do outside of Bullet Punch for negligible damage again. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'll do a little bit to Talonflame because Talonflame isn't the bulkiest of Pokemon. But uh, overall, unless the, unless that Musharna can get at the Trick Room, then the equation changes. We still haven't seen a Trick Room user throughout the entirety of this uh, tournament. A little disappointing for me, but uh, that's the way it goes. Him on top comes back in. It will get that Intimidate off uh, Talonflame. Talonflame's effectiveness somewhat limited um, but the town flame goes ahead and puts up a tailwind so Trevor's uh, Pokemon will have their speed doubled for three turns here and there's rest on that there's something that we actually saw earlier today in the tournament but okay. I think this might be the first time Andres has seen it so there, there's the uh, the tre Chesto rest eats that Chesto berry to uh, heal itself back up. It's back, roaring, ready to go. Talonflame's able to take that Psychic from Musharna decent enough. Uh, so it'll be out there to fight another day. Musharna restoring HP with the leftovers there. Um, pretty good turn for uh, Trevor there, being able to get that, that rest on Rotom for free. Yeah, th that's good. I'm, I'm not so certain if that Tailwind's going to become going to be very useful, though, because uh, Hitmontop just came in, so it, it runs a fake out. Musharna still could Trick Room, although maybe the plot twist is it doesn't have Trick Room. But um, but even if it does get Trick Room out, Talonflame has priority Brave Bird. Priority Brave Bird. How ridiculous is that? But it's at minus one, so there's a solid chance that it would miss knocking out him on top by a slim margin. Um, my guess is probably living with about 30 HP or so. Yeah, That's something just, like just that. Just a ballpark estimate. Sure. Um, but Rotom still has a lot to say about, well, everything. Just, Rotom does what it does. It stays around. Oh! Nice town flame go for the Protect. Um, perhaps it's trying to draw, draw that, draw away that fake out. The read. But, uh, Andres is able to read it. And, uh, fakes out the Rotom there, so the Rotom won't be able to do anything. And we do see, that's Trick Room, correct? Yes. Yeah. New battle animation there. <laughs> Again, we haven't seen it all tournament, so, uh, Trick Room is up for Andres, but, uh, so that's good for him. But we, we already talked about the uh, Priority Brave Bird that Talonflame threatens there. Yeah, so that was a fantastic play. Just no fear of that Brave Bird. None. Very impressive. Uh, so on, And, of course, the Tailwind is up, so... Uh, it actually works against you. Yes, it works yeah. against, working against Trevor right now. Andres will be able to, to move first under Trick Room with just about everything he's able to use. Oh, good play. Uh, that, that's a very good play, because, it, all right, Musharna with the reflect. So that reflect will raise the defenses, and it kind of negates what that Tyranitar can do. Um, but oh my goodness, at that the same Rotom time, that, close that Rotom's gonna survive because it chose to, because it chose to use reflect instead of going for a psychic. So Trevor's still in this. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, Willowus burning or er, Will Willowus is. Hitting this time now, so uh, hit him on top. Won't be able to attack nearly as effectively. Uh, that Tyranitar can stay out there and be uh, fairly confident it'll be able to stay out there now. Uh, even a close combat won't be able to 
to knock it out from there. And Musharna isn't really able to threaten Tyranitar at all. Yeah, and if Trevor has modeled this Tyranitar after uh, a lot of 5th generation Tyranitars, then it, it probably has Chopalberry. So, between yes. a Burn and a Chopalberry, you'll be, you'll be able to take that close combat. You don't even have a gem to help you, you know? That's a good point. Uh, of course, normal gem is the only gem that we have access to in Gen 6, so no fighting gem. Uh, on him on top is a very popular item last generation. Yeah. We see the hit helping hand from Musharna. Um, we'll see the close combat into the Tyranitar there. That helping hand making a difference, but not enough to kill that Tyranitar, and him on top's defenses are going to take a hit here. And there's a rock slide. It's going to hit both of them, although him on top resists, so it should be able to take that hit decently. Him on top resists, and Musharna's pretty defensive. Pretty oh! Defensive. Oh, he, d he decided to go for the... Uh, for the Musharna instead of him on top, surprisingly. Uh, probably viewing that Musharna as more of a threat to than the him on top is. Well, he does have the Talon Flame in back, so that might explain it. Yes. Yeah. Um, but it's not a not not able to do enough to to take out Musharna all the way. Uh, Tailwind goes out, so uh, um, Trick Room is still up, so now Tyranitar, I'm not entirely sure, but by, Tyranitar might be able to move before the Hitmon top now. Yeah. But we uh, see the Protect, so that it's got the priority, it doesn't matter. Uh, Tyranitar protects itself, Musharna uses Psychic into the Rotom, that'll probably be enough to take it out from there, and now, then it does. I, I think I see what he's doing here, and it's it's a pretty it's a pretty cool play, and it, it was kind of sacking wrote him. Yes. And now Talonflame is there to do its thing. You know? That's that, a good point. Just priority Brave Birding everywhere. So even though Trevor loses a Pokemon, on the surface it looks like that was a good turn for Andres, but uh, uh, really he might have been playing right into Trevor's hands. And also keep in mind, both of Andres' Pokemon are low, are low on HP. Low on HP and the him on top is sitting there burned with uh, negative defenses. So. And uh, the first. let's not forget that one HP Metagross in the back. That's that's right. Yeah. So Andres has three Pokemon at low HP and one yet unrevealed. Um, but, I, you know, I kind of like Trevor's position here. I think that you're right. That was a very good play. By yeah. Him. But the other thing you have to worry about, though, is... Ooh, wow. Uh, getting that Tailwind up right now. The Tailwind uh, up in Trick Room. Trick Room is still active as of now. The Psychic goes in. Talonflame is not able to take it. It's a critical hit. Tough break for Trevor there. Yeah, so uh, this one's over. And there it goes. Alright, so we liked Trevor's position going into that turn, but um, you know, Andres is able to pull it out in the end. So, Alright. Pretty well, impressive 4-0 victory there for Andres. Although, it, it was, I know the numbers say 4-0, but it really... I mean, the, you had the you had the critical like t very early on in the match, and yeah. all his Pokemon were at, like three of his Pokemon were in critical health. Yeah, you know, like that Metagross was sitting there hanging on by the skin of its teeth. Right, so one HP. It could have easily gone the other way. So I'm I'm looking forward to a game two. I don't know how much you have to like change your game plan if you're either of these guys. To be quite honest, I think it's just kind of like game time decisions. You know. Yeah. We'll have to see. You know, normally people like to, to change it up uh, in the second game, even if it, even if the battle went well, just to uh, um, so it's not a stale of a game. So uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, I agree with you. Both both players were pretty effective in what they were trying to do. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if uh, Trevor changes up his strategy or not. You got to imagine Andres is gonna keep doing what's work, what's working for him. Yep. Yeah, well. You'd think that, but if he's got, like, another plan that he's fairly confident in, like, it's something you might want to consider, you know, like, you know, hit them while they're down, you know, not necessarily just st stay a stationary target, let them adjust you, and then swipe that game, too, on possibly game mm -hmm. momentum, you know, but, you know, that's all about, like, best of three psychology, and I'm not qualified to talk about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Indeed, indeed. Um, so, Trevor, we, were, we talked uh, before the battle about Klefki. <laughs> Um, Trevor opted not to bring it for that first battle. Do you think we'll see it here in the second one? I think it could change things. Um, I, I really hope he brings it. That'd be, like, it'd be, um, his defensive options are really cool. And plus, foul play is foul play, and plus it's super effective against Metagross. 
So, yes. you know, yes. a poss and not to mention, it can take a Meteor Mash for neutral. But instead, we get to see a, some. We get to see a very different approach. Yeah. So here we go. We we got the lead matchup here. Trevor's on the top. Andres is on the bottom. Trevor leads both the Pokemon he didn't bring in the last battle in Breloom and Klefki. Um, Andres leading with that him on top and Mamoswine. Uh, keep in mind that uh, Mamoswine threatens both of these Pokemon, but threatens them separately. So That's a good point. Uh, but him on top might be able to patch up that weakness. And on top of that, both these Pokemon are weak to Heat Wave. So if Charizard's in the back, could, oh could, boy, could spell trouble for Trevor. <laughs> could spell trouble for Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, we we don't we have no idea if Charizard is there in the back at all. Um, him on top, going for the fake out on Breloom. Breloom won't be able to do anything. Uh, Mamoswine goes for the Ice Shard to clean it up. Boy, that was fast. Yeah. So now we're. And now we're setting up a lone reflect for Klefki. Yeah, it, w it, w it would have been nice to get that reflect up uh, prior to that ice shard, but uh, even with Prankster, the Mammoth Swine is faster with that priority ice shard. So, although uh, I, I like Rotom behind Reflect in this situation though, because Ma Rotom is a hard Mammoth Swine counter, and close combat from uh, Hitmontop is going to be doing significantly less to Rotom, possibly less than half. That, that, that could uh, could make all the difference. Doing less than half, of course, means you're able to take more than one, which is, you know, having that extra turn to be able to do damage can make all the difference um, in these uh, in this doubles atmosphere where the, the, the there's not a lot of turns to the games. Right. Um, so it'll be interesting to see see what we do here. Klefki has already put up a Reflect. We see the Hitmon top switch out. Be able to switch back in, get that intimidate damage or intimidate off. Metagross comes in, and we see the Mammoth Swine protect itself. Uh, so we'll have to see uh, who Rotom chose to attack. Oh, he nice! Chose to attack him on Good top, play. Replaced by the Metagross, that'll eat uh, some damage. Oh, back. that would have been the highest of plays if he that, got the Metagross. That foul play into the Metagross would have uh, probably been the end for Metagross there, but instead it was into the Mammoth Swine. Mammoth Swine was protecting itself, so. Uh, Metagross lives to fight another day. So uh, we see the Mammoth Sign now switch out for Andres. You gotta imagine Rotom's coming in. Uh, Rotom Wash and Rotom Wash using Trevor's Rotom Wash, hydro pumping into the Andres' Rotom Wash. <laughs> and oh, uh, negligible damage. The foul play going into the Metagross now. That's enough. It is going to be enough to do it. So Now, one thing that differentiates um, Klefki from Leapard when using foul play is that Leapard's a dark type, so it actually gets that one and a half times boost on foul play. Yes. Klefki doesn't get that. So it, it's it's not quite the same as Leapard, but um, it was enough in this case. Uh, that HP bar emptied out uh, pretty quickly there. Yeah, you can thank the new steel type type chart for that one. And no one seems to be able to stop that Rotom, that him on top from just coming in and out and just intimidating whatever it wants. Intimidating whatever it wants. Not that it matters here, but... It doesn't matter here because both it, of them are special attackers. Yeah. Uh, but still, uh, Andres is able to bring out his own Rotom Wash, which we've seen him use to great effect here. Uh, so we'll have to be able to see if Trevor is has an answer for uh, Rotom Wash. Uh, I don't see much that it can do to it now. Uh, with Clef and Rotom, uh, apart from foul playing. Um, well, fake out going into ye Trevor's Rotom. Oh, they, he for he forgot about the the change in mechanics. You cannot Thunder Wave an Electric type Pokemon. So that's some Gen. This ain't Gen Five anymore. This is a whole new generation. Even the the, the top players, Andres is you know run run through this tournament 9-0. Still making some uh, some rookie mistakes. <laughs> oh, but you know what? This this game is new. Um, you're bound to see things like that. Yeah. Yeah. So exactly. And the fact is, like, it wasn't really a critical loss there. So he should be he should be okay. He, he yeah. should be able to recover pretty nicely. But uh, you know, it could have done something useful that turn. And instead, it just uh, sat there and did nothing. But uh, here we go, it's doing something useful, it's going for the Thunderbolt into the road. does nothing. Doesn't really do much. Thunderbolt, it responds with its own Thunderbolt, does a considerable amount more. Uh, so, might, uh, 
they'll show you a little bit about the investment there. Now, we had Andres on before. Uh, he was talking about how he didn't have a perfect special defense IV, so that could be shown up there. Uh, close combat goes into the Klefki. But He's able that, to take that, it that from type. Doesn't do much at all. And him on top, uh, his defense is lower, his forward struggles. Of course, uh, the right, the white herb, which I forgot about. We saw it last game, but uh, able to restore it. So it's sitting there at uh, full defenses, but 49 HP, it probably doesn't matter. Trevor's looking pretty good right now. Trevor's in a good spot. That that Klefki is really showing showing off. It's been out there since turn one. And I haven't been able to do much to it. Oh! So not able to finish it off. Uh, Rotom Wash is able to rest up, delete that Chesto Berry. Be there at full health. What a play. And now it's going to get the Dazzling Gleam off, take out the Hitmon on top, possibly take out the Rotom. And it goes to the double KO it there. It takes two KOs up in one turn. Who thought Klefki would be an offensive juggernaut like that? Awfully impressive by Klefki, able to eat that Hydro Pump and respond with the Dazzling Gleam to take out both Mons. And he gets his full health Rotom yep. back against his last Pokemon. That's a fantastic, it's a Mammoth Swine. Fantastic turn for Trevor. Trevor's in a really good spot right now. Textbook. Up three to nothing with a Rotom against a Mammoth Swine. 1,200 viewers. 1,216 viewers. Thank can, you guys Can you all. give me 1,300? So here we go. We're going to play out the string here. Mammoth Swine goes, goes ahead and uses that Rock Slap. we got, we got to play the flinch game. It'll take out that Klefki. We're going to play the flinch game. Uh, Rotom Wash doesn't flinch. Doesn't miss. Doesn't miss with the Hydro Pump, and that'll almost spell the end. Andre, um, Andre says Mammoth Swine hangs on with that Focus Sash there. So it's not over yet. No, it's over. Okay. <laughs> Trying to build the drama, but, uh, you know, Mammoth Swine sitting there at 1 HP against the full health Town Flame. Yeah, Almost full health Rotom. Priority Brave Bird. That'll priority Brave Bird's going to finish off the deal. I was thinking it might be able to, to rock slide its way to victory, but Town Flame has other ideas. And there it goes. <laughs> All right, well. So... Now the match is all tied Someone up. Andres drops his first game of the day. All the newspapers. All right, tournament point. Here we go. So, so this is what this is what dreams are made of. We're going in. It's now a best of one tournament battle here. Trevor versus Andres. And you know what? We're talking about that Cinderella run. Trevor suffered two losses in Swiss. He barely squeaked in. Squeaked into the top cut as the seven seed. And now he's now he's in finals against the undefeated. And previously undefeated. Well, well yeah. Well, he was undefeated during the Swiss. Yes. So it kind of it shows you that what you did in Swiss it matters not. So we uh, we talked about that Klefki. Uh, coming into the, the battle before the second battle. Um, and I think that was really the uh, the X factor there for Trevor. So, you know, you got to imagine we're going to see it come out again here against Andres, but we'll have to see. Um, Andres uh, has had great success with his Charizard in previous battles. Um, we haven't seen it come out yet in either of these two against Trevor. Um, you know, both of these players have a lot of options on their team. Um, they could go... Any sort of direction that they they want to, um, and still be able to uh, match up decently against the, against. So you know, it's anyone's game here. Yeah, none of these Pokemon really strike me as Pokemon that you shouldn't bring. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, like they all could feasibly do something. They all they all have utility against everything else. So here we are. We're gonna get into the game three of the finals. Winner take all of the sixty dollars. Uh, Andres on the bottom, Trevor once again on the top. Andres brings out that Charizard um, and the him on top while Trevor counters with the Klefki once again and Mushana. Yeah, we actually saw this from Trevor in his uh, first round where he he went with this lead combination and was defeated by Patrick's power-up punch Kangaskhan. Um, so I'm interested to see whether or not the same thing will happen. All I know is that that Charizard poses a massive threat. Indeed, you gotta imagine it's gonna be Mega Evolving here. Gonna bring that Sun with it. Uh, Klefki wants no part of that Fire type threat. Brings out the Rotom Wash. Um, you see the Charizard. Mega Evolving there. Bring the Sun. 
Bet your bottom dollar. Yeah, so there's the sun there, but I, both these Pokemon can take that. Um, but Musharna, of course, will be eating that fake out. Um, and both Pokemon will be eating that heat wave. And we'll see the damage rolls here. And Musharna took a lot, a lot there. It a lot, but it's going to eat that uh, citrus berry that it has. Heal up a decent amount of damage. So I, I, it should be able to take another heat wave, but uh, it's, it's, it's tough to say. Yeah, uh, that's that's gonna be a painful one. Um, you're also in danger of getting hit by that hit on top close combat mm -hmm. if you're Trevor. So uh, he has to tread lightly. But the thing is, if he gets out of this situation, he's gonna have so much momentum that he could actually put Andres away should he navigate this part correctly. This is the critical turn. This is a critical yeah. critical turn. Andres is sitting there with two fully health mons, but he opts to switch the Charizard out. Uh, his own Rotom Wash comes in. Rotom Wars. Rotom Wars. But, but Trevor doesn't want any part of that. Double switch. Switches out. Oh Rotom. my! <laughs> Very gutsy. He's call. gonna. He's gonna. And wow. Yeah. We got mind games. So many mind games. Okay, so him on top most likely was trying to hit that. Um, that probable T Tar switch in, but now he's got light screen up. So, Breloom outspeeds him on top, and most likely Rotom. And Musharna threatens him on top. So, remember what we were saying about yeah. if he navigates out of it, he's got enough momentum to possibly put this away. That was a massive turn for Trevor. Trevor's got to be feeling pretty good right now. Um, pretty much navigated that last turn perfectly. As, you know what the best well part is? Imagine. We got that on film. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we, we, we were able to... Uh, capture all these battles on film, uh, post them up later on in the day, but for now, this is happening live, people. <laughs> We're into it. <laughs> so, uh, let's see what Trevor has up his sleeve. Trevor's definitely got the momentum right now, but Andres is more than capable enough to uh, navigate out of it himself. The Charizard comes back in. It's going to reset that sun to uh, five turns. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, it doesn't do unless it deactivates. It's got to deactivate, so uh, mistake in there is, you know, New game, learn the mechanics still. Breloom go ahead and spores into the Charizard. So that Charizard threatens Breloom, but not anymore. Can't do anything when it's, once it's asleep. Yeah, that that was huge. Put, uh, putting that to sleep was a ginormous turn. And Musharna gets some chip damage on the on the Mammoth Swine there with Psychic. Not just chip damage. That was over half its yeah. health. A little bit more than chip damage. So uh, <laughs> Mammoth Swine, uh, not the bulkiest of special defenders. Well... The problem, the problem is its bulk actually isn't that bad. It's just probably like not invested in it. And plus, Musharna actually has a higher special attack than Cresselia, if I'm not mistaken. So what Cresselia can do offensively is beaten by what Musharna can do. And uh, Well, there, there goes the Mammoth Swine uh, falling victim to Breloom's mock punch there. Charizard taking a little nap there. It's guaranteed one turn of sleep. And uh, Musharna will, will go for the Psychic there. Let's see how much this does. No. Oh, that was key. Get, gets the special defense drop on, yeah. on the Charizard there. Um, so chip damage, uh, that's chip damage on the Charizard there. Yeah. But, uh, oh, not with that special attack, though. Yeah, that's that's that, big. That special uh, special defense drop was huge. Uh, uh, Hit on top comes out for Andres, uh, getting that Intimidate onto the Brain Loom there. Not going to do anything to the Masharna, but uh, getting that Intimidate onto the Brain Loom, uh, pretty big deal. Yeah, you also have to remember that... Um, Trevor's got four Pokemon, one of them being his Rotom Wash, which is a fairly hard answer to uh, Andres's ooh, double protecting. I guess he just wanted to deal with a fake out, yeah. but uh, it's a good answer to his Charizard, and Charizard falls asleep for the second turn, which uh, doesn't matter too much now that the sun's fading, um, and on top of that, there's a good chance that Charizard's going to wake up next turn, yes. because you can only sleep for a max of three turns. Um, so, Andres and Trevor both know that it can wake up. And the other thing that's really nice about Gen 6 is that if you switch out, the sleep counter is not reset like it yes, used to be. Right. So, uh, Charizard opts to stay in. It's banking on waking up here that turn. Oh! Uh, on top, uses the mock punch into, into the Musharna. He got, he got the three turns sleep. Still asleep. Three turns sleep there, so it will be waking up next turn. Uh, but now that on top is asleep, it'll take a nice little nap there. Uh, Musharna going for the Psychic on the him on, on the, excuse me, on the Charizard. Survives with 13 HP. 
Uh, but we know Charizard's going to uh, wake up this turn. The, but we also is, know Breloom has Mach Punch. Yeah, I mean, even though it's resisted, a Technician boosted Mach Punch at minus one, so it, it essentially negates the Technician, but is that enough to pick up the remaining HP? You know, on, on 13 HP Charizard, you have to think it is, but I, I mean, I guess you, you don't know for sure. Well, the thing is, he we've, we've seen Andres do this all day. Yeah, there it is. He he's just buying time that way. Um, his uh, him on top can keep coming back in and forth and get more intimidates yeah. in and essentially ruin Trevor's physical attackers. But uh, now Andres is looking pretty good. Oh, well, we saw Musharna set up that light screen, so Rotom's a bit, Rotom's effectiveness uh, is uh, nerfed a little bit here. We see the Charizard switch out. Uh, for the hitmarker, getting that yeah. uh, second intimidate off on the Breloom there. Also on the Musharna, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, so Breloom's gonna help go ahead. Oh no, my put God! Him, uh, rode him to sleep. <laughs> that 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 was a one heck of a play. Very good play. You 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 would have thought that he'd be trying to put that Charizard to sleep again, but he reads the switch out, uh, goes for the sleep on the Rotom, and goes for the Psychic on the hit on top there. Uh, Trevor's making some pretty nice plays, putting yeah. himself in pretty good position here. There's, you can't ask for much more than a three-turn sleep and follow it up by standing still with your Breloom, getting the Spore off on Rotom. And now he's taking his Breloom out, so it's back at plus zero and can you know hit like it should. Um, and I can't imagine that hit Montop's going to be staying around much longer. Now we, Rotom wakes up early, gets the Will-O-Wisp off on the other Rotom. Which, uh, not fatal at all, especially since Trevor revealed that rest. Yes. This will be able to sleep that one off. Uh, there goes the him on top. Um, dying in its sleep like an old man. <laughs> That's kind of grim for a Pokemon stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's the jokes, man. Making making tons of jokes. So uh, Charizard coming in for Andres. Uh, thir 13, uh, 13 HP. Brings that drought back up. Uh, of course... Trevor's got the light screen up. Yeah, so um, that light screen proving huge. Like, Rotom will take very little. Yeah, Charizard's yeah. not going to be able to do much to that Rotom. Um, unle unless it's got Solar Beam. Yeah, that's that's a, that's something we've been waiting on. It's a decent play with the with the Auto Drought, Char or Auto Sun Charizard there. Yeah, although Ninetales kind of had that thing too, but it was always scary because what if you got caught on that switch in, you know? That's a good point, but Charizard goes ahead and protects. Rotom will Thunderbolt into the Musharna. Musharna's going to shrug that one off and survive to live to see another day. And Rotom will rest off its burn and uh, snack on that Chesto Berry, wake itself up. Yeah, that, uh, that Resto-Chesto combo is extremely strong. Um, and Trevor losing a little bit of footing there. Um, but... He still has the chance to be okay, considering he still has all four of his Pokemon. Andres is two. Yeah. Um, Especially that Charizard at 13 HP. Yeah, I mean, can't imagine it's going to stick around much longer. It. The the problem is if he loses Musharna and Rotom this turn somehow, uh, then then Andres might have the momentum. Well, but well that's not going to happen because Musharna throws up a protect. It'll last at least one more turn. We see the Solar Beam on that Charizard. Um, so it's going to probably go into this Rotom here. Let's see what it does. Wow. Wow. What a... Light screen proven to be uh, the difference maker there. Uh, that That's probably game right there. Yeah, and there yeah. goes. Down goes the Charizard. It's Andres' Rotom. The star of Andres' team, that Rotom wash. Uh, will it be able to take on the entirety of Trevor's team? <laughs> nah, Rot Rotom is... Not a, a Pokemon that can solo teams by itself. It's, it's not. It's not Excadrill. It's not Tyranitar. You know. It's going to be tough, especially with Trevor's Rotom sitting there. Um, uh, it's going to try to take it out with a Thunderbolt, going for the critical hit there. Maybe. Oh, barely no. surviving. Barely surviving. And oh, revealing the Citrus Berry again. And uh, so I think in the Rotom Rotom War, Andres wins, but Trevor's got the overall. War Trevor's campaign. still got the two yeah. Pokemon there in the back. Yeah. One of them being Breloom. The other one, have we seen the other one yet? I d <sighs> can not. Uh, 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 right, right, right. right. So he's got a Klefki and a Breloom in the back. 
against the Rotom. It's not looking good for Andres. Yeah, Breloom is just the hard counter because it its grass moves are anti Rotom technology, so you can't really beat that. But uh, Andres is able to take out that Rotom with the Thunderbolt. Um, Musharna tries to finish the deal off with the Psychic, but uh, Rotom is able to take it all right, and now we see that Breloom come in for Trevor. Yeah, he can clean up with Mach Punch, he can do a Bullet Seed. Um, yeah, this is fairly standard cleanup here. And there you go. There's the bullet seed. And it just and needs one hit. One yeah. hit, critical hit. That critical hit is just gravy. And we see Trevor go ahead and defeat Andres. Two games to one. The number one seed. Trevor is able to come back from two losses in Swiss, qualifying for top cut as the seven seed, able to, to run the gauntlet there and clean up as the champion. Thank you.